Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So first things first, I wanted to address the fact that I've pretty much been absent from YouTube for about the last four months. First off, there hasn't really been any new information surrounding Ghost Recon until just a few minutes ago, but I've been doing a lot of other games that I really didn't feel like you guys were going to want to watch on the channel. I know there's a dedicated group of you guys that would probably watch whatever I put up on the channel, but with the way the YouTube algorithm and stuff works, I've been playing some other games and just, you know, kind of doing some stuff on the side just for fun. There were a couple of little stints where I was actually under the weather uh, pretty bad um, back in January and actually just recently the last few days I've been kind of going through like a stomach bug um, but uh, we did get some brand new information from the developers today over on Twitter they put up a post that we're going to be talking about in today's video it's not going to be a very long video but uh, me and G Money are probably going to be doing a tack roundtable talking about this probably later in the week um, and we're going to be doing some other live streams and stuff like that I kind of want to get back here on YouTube and uh, start putting out some more content and stuff, maybe on some other games, just because like uh, with this new update from the devs over at Ghost Recon, um, there really isn't going to be a whole lot going on with Ghost Recon for the foreseeable future. But with all of that being said, real quick before we jump into the post, if you guys go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be super appreciated. Also, for those of you that may be new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you do not miss any of my future uploads. So just a few minutes ago over on Twitter, the official Ghost Recon Twitter put up this post that I'm putting up here on screen and it reads as follows. Hey Ghost, first we just want to say thank you for all the love and support you have brought to the game, obviously referencing Ghost Recon Breakpoint. During the past two years, we've released more than 11 updates and supported several unique initiatives from the Ghost Experience to the return of the AI teammates, special operations with Sam Fisher, working with the Rainbow Six operators in Operation Amber Sky, and lastly, our Plant a Tree project. We have been hard at work to add extra content for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. The last four months marked the release of our final piece of content, the brand new Operation Motherland mode, which I still to this day say that they definitely knocked it out of the park with that. It was a really good expansion or DLC. Um, tons of new items, including 20th anniversary iconic outfits and quartz items for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Not big with the quartz items, but we've already kind of talked about that here on the channel. But they go on to say that they will continue to maintain the servers for both Ghost Recon Wildlands and Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And they truly hope we will continue to enjoy the game and have fun playing in solo or co-op with friends. From the entire Ghost Recon team, we want to thank you again for your continued support and love that you have for the franchise. The feedback you've given for Ghost Recon Breakpoint has been instrumental and will help shape the future of the franchise. Until next time, Ghosts. So with that being said, it looks to be that there will be no new content being added to Ghost Recon Breakpoint after the new update that went live earlier today. There was a bunch of bug fixes and animation changes and stuff like that. A lot of things that really kind of needed addressed, and I think that's kind of their last hoorah is to fix all of those things. And then pretty much moving forward, it's just going to be kind of in like server maintenance mode. The servers are still going to be up. You're still going to be able to play Ghost Recon Wildlands. You're still going to be able to play Ghost Recon Breakpoint. But there's not going to be any new content coming to the game pretty much ever. You know, with the way they said this. But I will say, when I first read this, I was extremely disappointed because it almost seemed like they were kind of like, you know, farewell to the Ghost Recon franchise and they're going to be done. But at the very, very end, that very last sentence, you know, what does that mean? Does that mean they're going to be using all of that feedback for a future Ghost Recon title? I know there was a bunch of leaks recently by Tom Henderson, you know, stating that the only real Ghost Recon game that's currently in development was Ghost Recon Frontline. Also, there was a leak earlier today talking about another third person shooter that's going to be coming out from Ubisoft that kind of acts like Rogue Company and Hyperscape in a way. Um, that really doesn't have anything to do with the Ghost Recon franchise. But like I said, that last sentence said, The feedback you've given for Ghost Recon Breakpoint has been instrumental and will help shape the future of the franchise. So, we've talked about this before here on the channel, and if they took the best things from Ghost Recon Wildlands, the best things from Ghost Recon Breakpoint, all of the feedback that the community has given the developers over the last you know two or three years, the Ghost Recon Charter that they actually have a poster of up at the studio, kind of clarifying exactly what core mechanics or what core elements need to be in a Ghost Recon game. I think the future of the franchise could be good with a future title if they took all of that into account. 
but I'm almost just a little bit worried that, you know, with the launch of Ghost Recon Breakpoint, the really bad sales, pretty much the really bad, you know, PR of the game itself, um, and then with Quartz, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about the franchise, you know, if they're going to, you know, put it on the back burner like they did with Splinter Cell for so many years, and, you know, we won't see another Ghost Recon game for a decade or something, you know, now they're bringing back, you know, the full remake of the original Splinter Cell um, they might branch that into a new Splinter Cell game, but uh, I, I really don't want to see them shelve Ghost Recon as a franchise because, you know, I've played every single Ghost Recon game. It's pretty much what this channel is all about. I really enjoy the game. I think if they just took the feedback from all of the community from the last two games and everything like that, they could really build that from the ground up and make a really good game. Um, but that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Like I said, me and G Money are talking about doing a tactical roundtable and kind of discussing this and where we think it's going to go and kind of incorporating everybody into the chat and uh, kind of getting everybody's feedback and stuff on that. But that's kind of where I'm going to leave it for now. Make sure to leave your thoughts on this down below. Do you think this is hinting at them using all of that feedback? making a new ghost recon game are they going to put the franchise on the back burner let me know all of your thoughts and stuff down below in the comments but with that being said that is going to do it for the video if you guys enjoyed it you are excited about hearing some more information hopefully in the coming months about what the future entails for the franchise of ghost recon i would really like to hear your thoughts on that down below but like i said that's all for now thank you all so much for watching and i will catch you guys later peace out